The Election Commission of India on Friday issued a new guidelines for the conduct of general elections and by-elections during the coronavirus pandemic. Voters will be provided gloves to press the button of electronic voting machine and coronavirus patients in quarantine will be allowed to vote at the last hour of the polling day according to the broad guidelines. The gloves will most likely be disposable. Bihar will be the first state where assembly elections will be held amid the pandemic. The polls are likely to be held sometime in October November and the schedule is likely to be announced by September 28th. Candidates can file nomination papers online and people will be required to wear face masks during election related activities. The election commission said a separate set of guidelines would be issued for voters who are residing in areas notified as containment zone. At least nine people have died after a fire broke out inside a hydroelectric plant in Telangana late on Thursday night, a senior government official confirmed on Friday. Six bodies have been recovered by rescue teams so far and efforts are on to pull out the other three from the underground plant, said Nagar Kurnul District Collector L. Sharman. Sherman said the body of assistant engineer Sundar Nayak, hailing from Suryapet, has been recovered and sent for post-mortem. The police identified the second body as of the assistant engineer Mohan Kumar. 19 people were on a shift when the fire started at around 10.30 p.m. on Thursday. While 10 managed to escape, 9 others were trapped inside. The Supreme Court on Friday said it is not inclined to permit festivities during Ganpati festival in Maharashtra this year as the crowd becomes uncontrollable. Citing the pandemic, a bench headed by Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobde, maintained that Ganesh Chaturthi festivities by their very nature involve large crowds. The court was hearing a matter related to opening of certain Jain temples in Mumbai for pollution, the annual purification rituals for the community. The Maharashtra government opposed the plea, saying that this would lead to a Pandora's box and unmanageable situations where every community will come to the court with this order to get an approval for their festivals respectively. Senior lawyer Abhishek Manu Singhvi specifically cited Ganesh Chaturthi as an example. He said that Justice Bobde, who hails from the same state can imagine if permission was sought for this as well. At this, the bench clarified that Ganpati festivities would stand at a completely different footing. The bench also allowed opening of three Jain temples in Dadar, Chembur and Baikala upon strict adherence to the SOPs and on some additional conditions such as only five persons will be allowed at one time in these temples. All offices and shops in Haryana will remain shut on weekends in an attempt to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus, State Health Minister Anil Vich said today. The state which shares its border with Delhi has logged over 50,000 cases of coronavirus and 578 deaths. The move comes a day after Punjab announced daily night curfews and weekend lockdown in all 167 cities and towns in the state starting today as a part of a strict response to the worrying surge in coronavirus cases. The restrictions in Punjab will be in place until August 31 and includes restriction on public and private transport, a ban on public gathering, except wedding and funerals, and closing of 50% of shops selling non-essential goods in the five worst affected districts. Nasal swab and throat swabs are most widely accepted as the preferred method for obtaining respiratory samples to detect the presence of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes novel coronavirus. The Indian Council of Medical Research has now arrived at the conclusion that it has a certain disadvantages which may be overcome by gargling. A study done to assess the agreement between gargle lavage and swabs as an appropriate respiratory sample for the detection of SARS-CoV-2 has thrown up interesting results. This study was also done to assess the patient acceptability of the two sampling methods. The ICMR says this is crucial because it will enable easy self-collection, relieve healthcare workers and also lead to substantial cost saving by reducing the need for swabs and personal protective equipment. Now be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app. Go on your Android or iOS, search for HW News Network. Download our app, choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news.